can Google us. We did like 10,000 interviews. Throw the beat on. Let's, just, let's get to work, man. <laughs> What's going on, good people? This is Michael Karen for Content by the Kilo Media Group. I'm going to ask that you like and subscribe in exchange for Eight tips to help you while you advertise your business while you go on the road. So get your calendar out and mark down the hottest and events. And fuel up because we're going on tour. We're going to give you eight tips on how to successfully advertise your business while on tour this summer. Please subscribe and follow us at, at Beats by the Kilo on all social media platforms. Now, not only do road trips offer an important rite of passage for American youth, they also are critical to the growth of the business. I'm sure we all know the well-known examples like Red Bull's famous Mini Cooper, the earlier Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, have proven how powerful it can be to get your brand out on the road. There's no better way to expand your market than to go and introduce your brand in and person. And we're going to make sure everything runs but smooth. But first, here's the eight steps to help make sure your tour runs successfully. And comment below with your previous tour experiences. As anyone who has attempted a road trip of any kind can tell you. Going out on the road. It could be a challenging thing to do. Following is a list of things to consider when you plan your mobile marketing campaign. So you could take advantage of being on the road without it becoming a nightmare. As you see here, I take my business advertising everywhere I go. My hoodies, my t-shirts, all have content by the kilo on them. So any event I'm at, I'm like a walking billboard for myself and my business. What's that? Who made that? Where did you get that? And that's how I get a lot of my customers. And I'll give you one more of my secrets. What I'll do is I'll get some extra t-shirts and hoodies printed up. And I'll give some to the homeless, which doubles as charity and promotion. And do remember to research these cities that you're going in before you go there so you know what to do and where to go and what not to do and where not to go. And with the leftover product, we'll run a little campaign on social media for somebody to win a hoodie or a t-shirt. But really, doing me a favor by them having that in their collection, because when they wear it, they're promoting my brand. So that's just one more little Coley on tip. That's for free. Donations, cash at, be spot a kilo. You know, cost money. To so all donations are greatly appreciated. At Beach by the Kilo. Back to the eight street team tips. Number one, your people are your power. When it comes to face-to-face -face and eye-to-eye -eye experiential marketing, you need to be able to count on those smiling faces that will represent your brand. Being on the road sometimes comes with many temptations. And you need to know that the people you hire will act in a professional manner in what they do and do not do. It's a good idea to use a staffing agency with a successful track record to ensure that you don't have any surprises or discoveries about anybody in your street team along the way. Number two. Research is irreplaceable. Not only do you need to know the specifics of the places you'll be traveling, to set up your mobile activations. You need to understand another how to get there, stay there, and be well taken care of on the road. This means that in addition to using a staffing agency to hire your people, you'll likely want to hire an event marketing agency to coordinate your event. The last thing you want is to get to your event and the product not be there. So to avoid these situations, an event marketing agency is your best bet. You want professionals to be dealing with the challenges of a road trip. With experience comes expertise. And it can be extremely costly to go through the trials of the road. It is not whether you can afford to hire an agency, but whether you can afford... It's not coming out of my pocket. Or if your business can afford the high cost of going out These on the are road the things you'll have to do before you get on the road. So just imagine what you'll have to do when you get on the road. So I suggest for every plan you make, you make a backup plan, just in case. Number three, strategy is everything. To maximize your marketing efforts, you'll want to be at the right place at the right time. 
When do people want to use your product? When are they most open to new ideas? If you're doing a tour of colleges, visiting at the beginning of the semester or quarter might make more sense than trying to attract attention from students who are cramming for final exams. For every what, there's a when. An example of this is how they do it in the music business. They don't have a big promotional budget at that time. They'll put five new artists on tour together and they'll give them their services with their new hit single to the radio station to do a show for them for free for promotion. Or they'll have independent artists pay to open up for Listen them. Listen as we talk to Philly rapper M.I. Corleone about his last experience at one of his concerts he went to. The kilo found a last show when I seen Dave East. He had five or six people performing before him and nobody knew who they were. So you know they paid to get on that tour. So allow me to break it down for you. I'm a promoter and I want to book Dave East. Google says that it cost me about $25,000. Now 10000 of this is in upfront money. Now this is money that will be wired to his manager three to six months ahead of the concert date. Then the promoter will pay the rest of the money the day of the concert. Now the promoter will charge five to ten up and coming acts two to five thousand dollars to open up for Davies. This way the promoter is securing all of Davies' front end money as well as money to book the venue and promote the event. And in return for this, the artists who paid to open up for Davies get access to a sold out show full of Davies fans where they can advertise their music one on one without the fan being able to click their mouse and skip your advertisement. And this brings great advertisement to somebody who's up and coming in the music industry. Number five, sturdy and durable. With travel comes bumps and dings, not to mention the harsh effects the weather can have on your event assets. You want to make sure that your setup is ready for the road, easy to put up and take down, and can withstand some rough treatment. Number six, budget enough time. Do not let your ambition get the best of you. Remember that the challenges of the road trip include planning for the unexpected. So when you schedule your events, make sure to leave enough time for driving and for your team to recover so they can be at their best. And that leads to number seven. Implement rules on your employees. Now, you don't want your employees coming to work drunk or under the influence of anything or have one of their girlfriends that they just met standing by the whole time. So you want to make sure that your employees know this beforehand before you take them out on the road and you're stuck with them. And number eight can only come with the first seven and that's experience. With experience, it's the most important asset because it deals with the first seven and perfecting the first seven. And the more you go out, the better you get. And the more you'll know about the places you're going. So before you know it, your brand will be a regular attendee at all these events. And hopefully, you'll gain clientele that'll last a lifetime. Thanks for listening, and make sure you like and subscribe.